So, Roel, what is the quickest way to defrost a steak? Uh, defrosting it in cold water. Okay, because okay. I saw this technique on the internet about putting it in between two pans and it will defrost. You want to have a little comparison test? See which one is best? Let's start it. All right. All right. If I win, yeah. you clean the grills. Let me show you my steaks. So I got four of them, so let's set up a test. These are steaks from the Obarik breed, cattle breed, and they come from the, the Plateau d'Obarik. So it's a location named cattle breed and it's specific to that area. They create beautiful steaks. Can't wait to try these. Here's one of the steaks that I'm gonna put in the fridge. We're gonna wait until it's fully defrosted and then we're gonna sear it out. I'm keeping. And don't, don't, don't eyeball my beer, Marshall. Stay away from my fridge. I'm making sure I keep track of time, so here goes the stopwatch. One we're going to put in cold water. Fresh from the tap, the water will conduct the cold better than the air. So what it does, it helps defrost the steak much, much faster. I'm using cold water just to make sure we keep our steak safe. We don't want bacteria to grow. If you're using hot water though to speed things up, you gotta make sure then when it's defrosted, you gotta grill it right away. Okay, not my technique. Yeah? So not my Tell part. me. So you get two of those pans that you just used. One, two, yeah. Yes, okay, yeah. so you just put steak in between. Like that? It kind of makes sense because the metal conducts really, really well and it will take the cold away from the steak really fast. And the smart thing about this is you got a lot of metal service. Marshall, I think he, he got something this time. Yeah. Uh, I so hope you're not gonna win. I really wanted you to clean the grill. And eventually, Morrison, I'm gonna win because we're gonna grill the frozen steak. Best way to do it. But that's not fair. It was a defrosting experiment. Yeah, but we're defrosting this on the grill, so it counts. <laughs> defrosting your steak on the grill is literally the easiest way to defrost your steak. We did an experiment showing that a defrost steak is the best way to grill your steak. So why not use that technique if you're in a pickle? Just make it happen. We're going to fire up our Napoleon grill, light it up, full throttle, get this thing hot, then we're going to sear off our steak. Frozen steak. Hard like a rock. We're just gonna throw this on a cast iron griddle and get a good sear on it. We've got a beautiful crust on our steak. Look at that. Super Maillard effect. Now we're gonna place it over indirect heat. Our steak has reached the core temperature of 54 degrees Celsius. Time to take it off the grill and let it rest. We got a beautiful Maillard effect. It's nice and juicy. It looks really good, but we gotta wait. When the 10 minutes is up, it's time to slice into it. Frozen steak grilled to perfection every single time. Look at that. Nice crust on the outside. The smallest gray area ever. And then the beautiful cooked inside. What more do you want? A little bit of salt on top. I guess I won, Morrison. Perfect cooked steak in under 20 minutes. Uh -huh. I know you think it's not fair, but I'm Pitmaster Rick, so there you go. Oh my God. That's a good steak, right? You win. <laughs> I win. Of course I win. But still, we don't know my technique. Yeah, we got to check on it, see if it's done already. Our steak that we defrosted in water is defrosted after an hour. Look at that. Super flexible meat. This is ready to be grilled. So Morton, one hour, if you want to defrost it, Cold water, that's the way to go. It really is. It really is. Let's check on your steak, Morrison. Let's see how far along we are. Hey. It's still hard. Your trick didn't work, Morrison. It's okay, so it doesn't work. It's one of these internet hacks that, that don't work. It's myth busted. I thought this seriously was gonna work because, oh, that pan is cold, man. It's really cold. I thought this was going to conduct the heat and was going to take away the coldness of the steak, but it doesn't. 
the steak is still frozen. I think it's gonna take another hour to get this defrosted this way. Let's see how long that is gonna take. Let's check on the steak in the fridge. And yeah, you can't have my beer. Oh yeah, solid frozen still, look at that. Still there's ice on it. This is the safest way, the food safest way, because you're not heating up the steak, it's just gonna slowly dethaw. If you ask the FDA, this is the way to go. But if you wanna be quick, that's not the way to go. The quickest way is just grilling it frozen. I totally get you guys. You don't want to grill a frozen steak. It's not cool, it's just not cool. It's not sexy, it's not hot. So we're gonna be grilling our thawed steak. Are we getting another steak, Morrison? <laughs> How do you like it, Morrison? Over the grill or on the grill? Griddle. Griddle, there we go. Fire it up. And the good thing about grilling a thawed steak is that you can start straight away. So we'll take it out of the package, grill it both sides. Oh, it's gonna be heaven. Look, totally thawed. Thawed. It's a weird word. Defrozen. It's a new word. Unfrozen. Frozen. Did you see the movie? I don't get this. <laughs> oh. There we go. I bet I did see it. Ah, see? Bastard. Our grill plate is hot. You can see, smoking hot. So it's time to put on our steak. We got a nice crust on our steak. Time to move it over to the indirect side. Close the lid and let it come up to a temperature of 54 degrees Celsius. This one is looking good. The Maillard effect on the outside is actually a bit better than with the frozen steak. Because the frozen steak, yeah, it's kind of hard and not every part will touch the griddle. But with a thawed steak, it definitely touches all the parts. You get a much more even crust on the outside. The steak definitely feels less tender when slicing into it, but it does look good. Let's sprinkle on some salt and give it a try. Looks good, nice crust on the outside. Nice and red and juicy on the inside. Mm, tastes good. I got no complaints here. You want one, Motion? Yeah. Maybe you can find some fault to my technique. Was it the same type of meat? It was the, the complete same cut. It was a slice from the same cut. It feels less tender, right? Yeah, I, I hate to say that. So I'm not gonna say that. You can repeat me, but I'm not gonna say it. You have to say it. I can't say it. Okay, the frozen steak was better. Boom. Thank you very much. And now what? Now we are steak. And wait for your steak to be defrosted. You gotta wait for your own steak. It's been two and a half hours, Morrison. I, I hate to say it, but this is not a hack. Let's check on the steak, see if it's defrosted right now. And if not, man, you're just gonna have to clean the grill. Oh, you're such a lucky bastard. Look, it's defrosted. Two and a half hours, man. Finally defrosted, still super, super cold. So it's just defrosted, but this, this it's not a hack. It's not a trick, it doesn't work. I don't, maybe in a hot environment, but not in a cool environment where this is safe. Let's check on the steak in the fridge. Still frozen solid. Defrosting in the steak in the fridge is definitely an overnight process. So now that we know this, I can tell you, grilling a frozen steak is the fastest way. And your steak turns out really juicy, really nice and crusty so that's the way to go if you want to go quick if you want to keep it food safe frozen steaks grilling is also very safe and if you don't want to have a frozen steak then the best way to go is to let it come up to temperature in cold water and i say again cold water because it's the safest thing to do so yeah that's basically the two ways to go if you got the time just put it in the fridge overnight is the best because you need to be relaxed, you know, it's barbecue, it's all about having fun, not stressing out people coming over, stuff like that. Just relax, put it in the fridge, prepare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And remember, for our patrons, tier two and up, and YouTube members, we got all of the written recipes. So, if you want to become a patron YouTube member, that's a big perk. Uh, hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk, and keep on grilling.